It's time yeah, for the bracket, course. bitch. The bracket. bracket. Bracket, bitch. Here's where the theme song will go. It'll be bracket, bitch. Bracket, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Oh. All right. Yeah. All right, boys and girls, you know what that sound means. It's time for bracket. Bracket, bitch. Bracket, bitch. Woo, 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 woo. Bracket, bitch. Bracket, bitch. Woo, 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 woo. Five side checks. Okay. Whack Packers. Mark Hackett's. Yes. Captain Quinch, the mm-hmm. patio, when the... Howie met Ronnie. Yes. Ultimate bracket whack pack challenge. Oh, I. Okay. All right. Yep. Round one, fight one. Or which one of these is more important to you as a whack packer? Eric the actor or Crazy Alice? Eric the actor, hands down. Are you kidding me? He's iconic. You know He's a number one. Johnny. You know what to do. He's a number one seed for a reason, Mark Atkinson. Mm-hmm. He's the number one seed for yeah. a reason. Then now we yeah. move down. Captain Jenks or Daniel Carver? Well, I I do miss the Daniel Carver days, especially now. Did he die? Or they just refuse. Oh, to he's, have he's, he's just being a racist. I mean, you think they're gonna have Daniel Carver on? They don't have Gilbert Godfrey on. Thank Carson. <laughs> <laughs> they, don't have, they don't have Gilbert Godfrey on. You think they're going to have Daniel Carver? Are you going to ask me why they don't have Hansy on anymore? Yeah, right. <laughs> and yet they have Andy Cohen on and uh, yeah, yeah. on the other day. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the show jumped the shark a long time ago, but but we're still fans of it. So what are you going to yeah, do? Exactly. Still on right. the show. Uh, God, between so the, the crank collar or the racist? I got to go Captain Jenks. Captain Jenks moves on to the second round. Uh, Wendy, his Frank calls are legendary, you know. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Wendy, the slow adult or medicated Pete? Hmm. These two are not my favorite. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to go with Wendy because she's, uh, you know, she's been on the show for so long. But she's going to beg you for money. Yeah. All right, John the Stutterer. He had epic battles back in the day with uh, the, the show when he would come Remember, on. Remember, not stuttering John, by the way. We're talking about yeah. John the Stutterer. Yeah, John the, you're talking about John the Stutterer. Yeah, John the yeah. Stutterer. Or Bigfoot? Oh, Bigfoot. I'm almost, yeah. It is. Hold on. Uh, yeah, definitely Bigfoot. All right, Bigfoot it yeah. is. Bigfoot it yeah. is moves on. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Bigfoot. We're not talking about old school Bigfoot. No, right? no, we're combine. We'll, we'll we'll combine them if that helps you a little bit. Just the Bigfoot character. Okay. Who's hype? Who's Mark Atkinson? Who's hype? Right. on Mark Atkinson or Kenneth Keith Callenbach? That's an old schooler. Yeah. All right, Pete. I'm gonna go. Half these people are dead, by the way. I'm gonna go with high pitch. High pitch uh-huh. is a huge reason why I uh, found out where those where everyone was drinking. <laughs> what hotel they were? He, 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 right. he told me. All right, we're going to go Riley Martin or Ham Hands Bill. Oh, Riley's pretty Riley's pretty legendary, but I do think I like Ham Hands Bill better. Ham Hands moves on. <laughs> yeah. All right, now we're going to go Elegant Elliot Often, another person that's not has not been back on the show in a while. I did, they oh. did mention him. Or Yoko. Yoko might be too successful for this bracket because he's got two Netflix shows so far. Yeah, so. no, Yoko. Yoko's great. You're going to go Yucko. Yucko for All sure. right, got it. All right, next yeah. up, we're going to go Will the Farter. A lot of great memories with him. Or or the Beat. Beat also a top seed here. Dude, why do you have those two on the two? All right, man, I it's mean, my bracket. It's your choice. I know. My yeah, bracket, I mean, your choice. I mean, I'm, I'm obviously going to go Beat, but damn, Will the Farter is still great, too. I'm hey. going to go Beat, but... That, though, hey, man, some some first-round battles are harder than others. Yeah, that's tough. All right, now we move on to the next side of the bracket. We got Sour, Sour Shoes. Sour Shoes, hands right? down. Versus the Jesus Twins. Jesus Twins is an amazing, uh, they were an amazing character, but Sour Shoes is way too strong. Yeah. Jeff Currow, the drunk, Mark the Bagger. Oh, you know, I was like, who the hell? Currow? Yeah, Jeff, Jeff the drunk. Oh, yeah, definitely Mark the Bagger. Yes. 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 Uh, Fred the Elephant Boy or Melrose Larry. I gotta go with Melrose. He's my homie. He's on. He's on my. Uh, I'm gonna tag him in this. All right, tag him. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. I'll also release this as an independent clip, so people don't have to sit and t- through an hour and a half of me and you talking before we get to the bracket well, bit. I, I, I want to put Melrose Larry in one of my movies, actually. Yeah, let's put him in. Man. All right. Uh, so Melrose moves on past Elephant Boy. A bit of an upset here. Fred oh. the Elephant Boy was the favorite coming in. All right, we have Crackhead Bob. Thippy Thippy or Bobo. 
which is the love hate person. No, I love Bobo. I'm a big fan of Bobo. I think he's also on my. Uh, I think I'm friends with him on Facebook too. Yeah. All right, Bobo moves on. Now Gary the Conqueror or Marianne from Brooklyn, the most grating oh, voice man, that's in the universe. Tough one, man. Marianne or Gary the Conqueror? Yeah, that's a tough. That's a tough matchup for a first round. I love Gary, but I'm gonna have to go with Marianne because she's more uh, like topical or more. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Relevant. She's, like, she's a kiss ass though. She's Gary keeps it real. Marianne is just like a fucking like a promotional tool. When yeah, but when, he, that before it goes when he has something when he has something to to, to bring up that he doesn't want to sound like he's promoting himself. Marianne's right there. Howard, what about your book? Or Howard, what about you know like. She brings up the stuff that Howard is too embarrassed to, to... But you're going with Marianne from Brooklyn. All right. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Gary doesn't know the difference, so he's yeah. fine with it. Sorry, Gary. All right. <clears throat> all right. Blue Irish. And really, if I had to do it all over again, I'd put Gary against Blue Irish and Marianne versus Asian Pete. Yeah, that seems this like, was kind of like, eh. I, because it feels like this could have been in the next bracket. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll probably go Blue Iris just because she made out with Artie, right? Yeah, that's that's the thinking there. Uh, and Nicole Bass, R.I.P. or Lawrence the Garbage Man. Oh, Larry the Garbage Man. Are you kidding me? Larry you, the you Garbage. You got all these alias names, huh? You got you know. Yeah, you know, you know, I don't like his other name. Hansy or Hank, uh, the Angry Drunken Dwarf. Hansy. Oh come on! Another one. That, hey. Another one. Another Hank one. That. G O T. Yeah, well, that's why he's the other number one seed, as you can notice. Him and uh, Eric are on separate sides of this bracket. Yeah. All right, we're moving on to the next round. So it's going to be Eric the Actor versus Captain Jenks. Oh, Eric. Eric the Actor is a e fucking e monster. He's a heavy favorite in this bracket. This is very, uh, yeah, that's a very woke uh, bracket you have here. It's a, a woke bracket. <laughs> yeah, look at it. You got Eric the Actor. Hey, man, that's what he wanted to be called. He's Eric the Actor. Larry the Garbage Man. Gary which is what? Just Wendy. Which is, which is what makes me laugh every time I I I, uh, I email Merrick the actor <laughs> because because it's one letter off from Eric's name Eric. so that's <laughs> so every time I every time I send Merrick an email I'm like <laughs> all right and then follows <clears throat> Wendy or Bigfoot Bigfoot sorry right. Wendy high pitch Eric or Ham Hands Bill. gonna go with high pitch because he's uh mm -hmm. he's just on so much more i, I do like ham hands bill but that's he's, fine that's fine he's a beast right. another tough matchup here yucko or beat damn i'm gonna go with beat yeah i mean you have to go with beat but sucks yucko sorry yeah it's your a... your netflix uh sour shoes or mark the bagger oh sour shoes all right, and Melrose Larry or Bobo? Melrose, I hate to do it to you, buddy. It's just, it's, it's just, it's more. Bobo's just on a lot more. I, you know, Melrose has only been on like twice in the last six months. All right, and uh, Marianne from Brooklyn or Blue Iris? Marianne. And uh, Larry or Hank the Angry Dwarf? Ooh. Tough one. Yeah, that is a really tough one. You Howard. 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 Moet Fawcett. <laughs> yeah. You telling me you don't like to sniff a girl's shoes? Uh, shit. I mean, I gotta go Hank. Hank the Angry Junker Drop moves on. All right. <laughs> Things are getting serious now. Eric the actor, it is, or Bigfoot. Tough matchup for Eric. This is tough. I'm gonna have to go Eric though. I, I love Bigfoot, but Eric's just high pitch Eric or Beetlejuice. That's an epic one. That's a that's a, that's a rough one right there. That is. But if pressed, I gotta go beat. All right, and sour shoes or Bobo. Sorry, Bobo. Sour shoes. Yeah. And, and Sour Shoes is a is is a he's a he could be a sneaky one this bracket. Yep. Marianne from Brooklyn or Hank? Hank. All right, that gives us our final four. Okay. 
Here we All go. Right. Now things are getting tense. All right. Semi-final number one. Eric the actor. Beetlejuice. Oh, no. <sighs> Breaking my heart. But I might have to go with Eric. All right. And then the other final, Hank versus Sour Shoes. Sour Shoes. Which brings us to our final. Okay. Mark Atkinson, big fan of the Stern Show. Yep, You've yep. Made it this way through a 32-person whack pack bracket. And it all comes down to one. And it's a woke one at that. And it all comes down to the final. Eric, the actor. You know what to do. You know what to do. Johnny, you know what to do. You know what to do. Sour shoes. Uh, <laughs> Wait, fucking the the prank call. Uh, uh, how, the, the, how, uh, no, 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 the fucking sagas. I have an I have an Eric folder of old Stern stuff, and it's like yeah. eighty gigs of just <laughs> his calls, and just 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 being uh, a a this a, 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 a differently abled person that that complains so much that people still hated him. So, you know, how, yeah. Artie was like, you know how much of an asshole you got to be to to be in a wheelchair and have people still hate you. This is an epic, I'm club, epic I'm final. Yeah, swipe. Yeah. Um, He's club fucking footed, but is he number one in the bracket, Mark? I'm going to have to go with Sour Shoes. Sour Shoes Sour in an update. Shoes. I said he was a rated rookie in this in this in this. I mean, he's I think guy, he's awesome. He's just he's very talented and then every time he's on I my ears perk up, you know, and he's still alive. Eric the Midget's uh actor you call him. Uh he's been dead for like 5 years, so he's not, you know, coming up with anything new. Well, Mark, you made a decision. It's a tough one. I think yeah, I would have had a gone with I would have had to go with Eric on that one, flying yeah. with balloons and all that. Like, I think it's like it's. I think you it's know, like, no, like, no, he was. It's a, it's strong, a tough one. It's a tough one. But Sour Shoes is probably creatively come up with a lot of time, and 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 I, and I think it's a real fun. Uh, I mean, obviously, I think he's one of the most talented people. That he's just yeah. a talent. He's just a, he's the definition of like an idiot savant, basically. You know, the bracket was fun. I think. Uh, yeah, good. I like that. The people at the uh, subreddit appreciate it. They're they're probably gonna get. They're probably oh. gonna crucify you for picking beetle for not picking Beetlejuice. Uh, oh yeah, no, or, I'm dead. I'm a dead man. Yeah. Or or for me for omitting like uh, Suzanne the weather lady or somebody for some random ass person. Uh, yeah. You know, like, Bosco a queen for not putting her on the on the bracket or something uh He's so, man. <laughs> yeah you know we only had 32 slots okay i didn't want to make it a 64 person tournament because me and mark would have been here for two hours right talking about mark the bagger versus like fucking original bigfoot, bigfoot. or, or yeah. fucking uh what is the other one that, who i almost put in uh was um uh, wonder dog no the guy that was uh, oh you know what oh you know Wow, you know who I legitimately forgot that probably could have won it for me? How the hell did I not put Evil Dave Letterman in here? Oh, what list? We would have went what? pretty far. What? I don't think he would have won, but he would have came in at top four. What list of whack packers did I look at? Dude, no See, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna crucify myself for that one. Evil Dave is like one of my favorites. Yeah. Wow, what list of whack packers did I look at that Evil Dave wasn't on there? I was going to say I miss Sun Yi, but then as soon as I thought about Sun Yi, I was like, yeah, he's just that guy that worked on the show that happened to have that voice. And I'm like, yeah. just like just like Evil Dave, just the yeah. guy that's, that happened to sound just like Dave Letterman. And I didn't put him in somehow. Was, is, is, Rappaport, is Rappaport still, what do you consider him? He's a caller. He's not a whack packer. But Bobo's definitely Man, I definitely could have put him in probably instead of like John the Stutter or instead of like uh, Yeah, like that yeah. like instead of like he would have been maybe in, in place of either Blue Iris or Asian Pete. He would have beat Blue Iris. He would have beat Gary the Conqueror. But oh, yeah. then he would have then he would have been up against Hank. He would have been against Hank Yangi Door. 
You still think Hank, though, right? Or no? Because Hank's a fucking classic, dude. Yeah, he's, when he's he would get dr- when he would get drunk on the couch and just beat Jerry or drunk, anybody, yeah. at fucking he was just like, blah, blah. Owen, Owen, yeah. Like, like that's the that's the that's the that's, the, that's where it might have been different. If you would have taken Evil Dave over Hank, then 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 he makes yeah. the, the hey, final eight. I'd go Hank. Yeah, I think Evil Dave's a contender, like two rounds. But I think when he goes against like Hank or even against Beetlejuice or Eric, he doesn't make it past that like nah, Sweet Sixteen. Nah, nah, he's not. He's no, but sh- but but honestly, Evil Dave is like a top ten whack pack of yeah. maybe a top five man. Some of them fucking. All right, shit. Dude. yeah, they're all like da- dying, so it's just kind of like they're like wrestlers, man. Whack packers are like wrestlers. It's a tough fight. Yeah. Right, All right, Mark. I appreciate you. I, I should. I don't know why I didn't start the interview by saying hi, Mark. Uh, but um, I appreciate you coming on, brother. Uh, like I said, nice. I'll talk to you soon. I'm gonna let this ex, 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 extra this, this ex, to play us out.